Hey Cancer, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Cancer, you know the drill. This is a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you. Take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit, okay? Uh, if this is not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box. If you are interested in getting a live over the phone reading with me, if you call and you don't get me, that means I'm on the line with someone. Uh, feel free to slide in my DM or you can, my business email is in the description box. We can set up a time specifically for you, okay? All right, I try to get to everybody. So, okay, I just did the Scorpio reading and the Pisces reading and okay, let's see, there seems to be a running theme here with um, the water signs. So let's see what's going on. Um, I'm going to pose a different question to Spirit now because, you know... <laughs> <laughs> let's see what comes out so this is for my single cancers who are you could have just met someone or you're dating um what's what's coming towards you what's coming towards you okay spirit thank you for your clear and concise messages i'm here and i understand them what is coming towards my single cancerians thank you We've got sage, we've got sun in reverse, and we've got shield maiden. Okay. Spirit, please clarify sage. Please clarify sage. Okay, Cancer, you know your energy. Put it where it goes. You know your story. Please clarify sage. Ooh, okay. Hmm. nice 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 okay so cancer either you or someone you're dealing with has evolved i i feel like they're very dedicated and committed to being the best version of themselves mm -hmm. spare please clarify five of wands I feel like someone, hold on, let me see something here. Oh, yeah, it's okay. Someone in this collective or someone that you're dealing with has realized that there is more to life than the stupid shit that they were focusing on. Yeah. Somebody is willing to fight tooth and nail to create stability and security and have success in their life. Mm -hmm. This is about personal development, personal evolution, spiritual growth. Like someone here is in it to win it. Please clarify six of wands. Wow. Very strong energy. Very strong energy. There's a strength that's like... Whew. Mm hmm. Spirit, please clarify Ace of Wands. <laughs> Cancer, what did you do to this person? <laughs> Cancer, somebody wants to fight for you. Yeah, they're willing to compete for you. They don't give a shit. No. They see you as 10 of coins. They can have it all with you. Longevity, security, stability, family, home. Someone may want to buy a home with you, move in with you, right? Buy a home and move in with you. Mm -hmm. But they see that they can have it with you. Someone views you. They see you, Cancer, okay? I feel like this person sees you as being very strong. They see you as somebody who has worked on their self and that is your number one priority, being the best version of yourself and doing what you got to do to make sure that you are where you want to be. And you're not here for bullshit, right? 
someone sees that you're very passionate, but this is somebody who's also very passionate about creating some kind of, I feel like some of you, you either met this person or you have someone coming into your life who they're not letting anybody come in, mess up what they have going on with you or what they want with you. They will cause tower moments. <laughs> yes, they will. Okay. They will burst some people's bubbles. Okay. Create some abrupt changes to make sure that they're with you. Mm hmm. Because they see you. They see you as successful. They see you as good news. They see you as someone who is elevated and elevates others. They respect you. Mm -hmm. They see you as very strong and confident in yourself. But it's, it's not a cockiness. It's not egotistical. This is somebody who has gained strength and is confident in themselves because of the things that they've been through. Right? You're proud of your accomplishments. Right? Because life wasn't easy for you, Cancer. They admire that about you. I feel like you inspire this person. They are very passionate about you. Someone wants to, they, someone wants to change your whole life, right? Or they feel like you could change their whole life, right? This is someone who wants to give you a big offer of love, right? Like, will you go steady with me? <laughs> Cancer. Will you be mine, Cancer? Mm-hmm. Wow. Spirit, please clarify the sun. Mm. Spirit, please clarify the shield maiden in reverse. Cancer, babies, come on, babies. <sighs> Cancer, you know what? I feel like you guys have been through some pretty shitty relationships or experiences with people, and you kind of self sabotage now. Mm hmm. Spirit wants you to stop that. Okay, Spirit wants you to be done with it, clear it away. Okay, dead it. Because some of you, it's like you have a good opportunity coming in with someone, and you kind of just. As confident as you are, Cancer, in yourself, you don't have confidence in other people, <laughs> right? It's like borderline trust issues. I feel like you... Spirit doesn't want you to do something or say something to sabotage it with this person, right? Because this is an energy of it's too good to be true. Mm-hmm. Spirit doesn't want you to do that. I keep hearing this. Um, Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. I don't know where that song comes from. <laughs> That's what's playing in the back of my mind, right? Hmm. I feel like you are. Hold on. Let me. Let me some more cards first I feel like you're very protective of your energy cancer mm -hmm. for some of you someone may be entering your life or you just are in the beginning stages of getting to know someone and you get to thinking you're doing some soul searching I feel like you're guarded I feel like you're being patient but you're not really making plans. I feel like you're you're not thinking too far ahead with somebody here. This is not that bad though, you know? This is this is kind of the energy of taking one day at a time. And spirit wants you to do that, right? You don't have to get in your head and be like, "Oh my god, we have to get married and buy a house and do all this." Stuff. Even though this person they want that with you, but Spirit's like, don't get your panties in a bunch, okay, or your boxers, whatever you wear, in a bunch and overthink things and, you know, just drop it because it seems like it's too much and too soon. And Spirit's like, you don't have to do, go at your own pace, right? 
yeah, this person wants all these great things with you and they, it is possible, but they love you the way that the, the cards show that they love you. They'll wait right until you're ready until you're completely healed or healed enough to make those steps with them. Because spirits like don't just rush in and call it off with someone because of some kind of fear, right? And and this is a fear of this is too good to be true. Are you a real person? <laughs> yeah. Is this really happening right now? Spirit's like, you don't have to make any big serious plans with this person. Just take it one day at a time. Enjoy it for what it is, right? Spirit, please clarify seven of wands. Because look, with, with the temperance, you got the hermit, the temperance, and seven of wands. Like, I feel like this person was divinely guided towards you. I feel like this is a divine intervention. I feel like this is protected. Mm-hmm. Feel like spirit doesn't want you to move on too soon from this person cancer i feel like spirit wants you to give this person a chance mm -hmm. spirit please clarify temperance mm -hmm. i told you cancer come on <laughs> Cancer, I'm rooting for you here, man. Ah, I feel cancer. Your energy is like, they're going to do something stupid. They're going to fuck it up. This is too good to be true. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait for them to do something dumb, right? Some of you, you just get it in your head that they're going to do something dumb and you start acting like they're doing it already and then you just cut it, right? Like, no, you know what? I'm, I'm not feeling this. I And the spirit's like, don't do that, Cancer. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. Yes, uh, and you're in your head about this. In your head. Ah, right? And and this is this is self-fulfilling prophecy, right? The, then you go into the sabotage things. Because you're worried, oh my God, they're gonna be like my ex, or they're gonna it's this is a karmic, or you know what I'm saying? Like this person's not gonna do what they're supposed to do, or this is not real. They're not a real person. They're love bombing me. You're going to find out a couple months down the line that they're a whole fucking narcissist or some shit. And then you're going to prepare for the worst and then you're going to make it seem like the worst is happening and you're going to act like that. And then you're going to fuck up your own program here. <laughs> Cancer, I don't know how else to tell you, right? You're going to close the curtain on your own show. And Spirit's like, don't do that. It's like plan for success here. You need to work on that. I feel like a lot of you are prepared for the worst happening, but you have no idea what to do when the best happens because you're not used to that. And you have your guides, angels, ancestors here like cancer. We got you, man. We got you. We're supporting you in this. But if you believe, remember, thoughts are things very powerful. If you believe that things are going to go to shit, then they are. But if you believe that things are going to work out and this is good, then it is. Spirit's like, don't dismiss this person so soon. Please clarify eight of wands. It's like you're going to manifest what you're worrying about. Yes, look at this. It's like you're thinking that, oh my gosh, this person is perfect for me. This is somebody that... I, everything that I've ever wanted, this person is coming with this, right? And you're just like, oh my God, no, something's going to go wrong. You're waiting for the, you're like subconsciously waiting for the other shoe to drop. And spirit's like, cut the shit, cancer. Stop it. And I get where, I get where it's coming from, cancer. You've had to go through a lot of obstacles, adversity, People fighting with you, people being jealous, a lot of conflict, a lot of struggle, okay? Some of you, you've been in relationships where people were mentally abusive, emotionally abusive, physically abusive, financially abusive. You've had to fight to get to where you are. 
So this person comes around along now and it seems things just seem a little bit too easy breezy with them. And you're just like, are you real? Are you fucking with me? Am I being punked? Spirit said, no, you're not. But you will punk yourself, right? You will fake yourself out if you start thinking like this. Some of you, you think that it's just, it's too much too soon. And spirit saying, what's too much too soon? That you're getting wish fulfillment? <laughs> that this is everything that you prayed for, asked for, put on your vision board, manifested, said your affirmations about is coming in now? And it's coming in quickly because you deserve it? Spirit, please clarify five of swords. Yeah. Spirit's like, don't give a oh, Cancer, come on, baby. Baby. Don't sabotage this. Don't sabotage yourself. I feel like some of you, you, you think that it's... This person wants it all with you. And you want to know the beautiful thing about this? From this person saw you, they wanted this with you. Like, this is like, for me, this is like love at first sight. There's a there's an old um a old reggae song that's from Jack Cure. It's um you never seen it coming and the next thing you know unconditional love unconditional love. Mhm, mm that's what this is. You weren't expecting this to happen and it just did, right? With the t it just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Spirit said, "Here's your person, Cancer. Okay, don't fuck it up." And then you got all worried, right? And you're just like, is this the right person? Is this another head fake? Is this person going to blindside me? Are they going to do what the ex did to me? Because they fucked me over, right? Are they going to put me in competition? They say they want to be with me, but really they're cheating on me. Like, Spirit's like, no, Cancer. But if you think that and you start acting like they are and start pushing this person away, then self-fulfilling prophecy, you just sabotage yourself. Spirit wants you to stop feeling like that, thinking like that. Stop manifesting things like that in your life. Spirit does not want you to manifest that. Spirit, please clarify debt. Right? Because it's like good things are happening and you just don't believe that they're happening. Yeah, Spirit said let this go. Let go of this self-sabotaging behavior. Right? Self-fulfilling prophecy of the worst case scenario. Don't let, don't, don't do it to yourself. You deserve this, Cancer. Okay? You deserve someone to offer you their big cup of love, okay? You deserve to someone to be passionate about you and want to create stability and security and have longevity with you. You deserve that. You've worked on yourself so much. It's only fitting and it only makes sense that you meet someone who's matching your vibration now. Let them in, right? Love is freely given and freely received. I feel like you kind of, you could block this because you have some hangups, Cancer. Mm -hmm. because it's like what what you should be making plans for you're not because mm -hmm. you're in this energy of i'm going to take things one day at a time but you're low-key preparing for if this person fucks around you're going to cut them off <laughs> right and spirit's like don't don't do that as if you prepare for that that's what's going to happen right like you deserve love prepare to be loved Embrace it. Enjoy it. Let this person love you, Cancer. You deserve this. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify Seven of Wands. Please clarify Seven of Wands. Yes. First off, this is this person coming in. Spirit is protecting this relationship, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And Spirit wants you to be protective of it as well. Spirit, please clarify. It's like um, protecting your happiness, right? Protecting what you've built for yourself. Protecting who you've become, right? And, and allowing these things in. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify three of wands in the verse. Yes, yes, don't make the mistake of not doing what's right for yourself. Mm -hmm. Right, and this is also, 
Cancer, you need to work on, you don't need to, but it would be wise to work on balancing your masculine and feminine energies. Mm -hmm. Because this is where that, you just get some ideas in your head and you run with them, right? And if you were more balanced, you would come from a place of harmony. Mm -hmm. Harm when you're harmony, in harmony with yourself, right? You naturally manifest harmony. I was going to say harmonious relationships, right? But harmony in your life. Mm -hmm. Spare, please clarify temperance. Yes. Be patient with yourself and this person, Cancer. You've been through a lot, okay? It's like somebody who's always on 10, right? And they're always in um, fight or flight mode. And then when things calm down, there's this restlessness about them. And they don't really don't know what to do because they're so used to always having to be on guard. So now when things are serene and peaceful and things are going good, you're just like, what is going on here? Is this really happening? Is this real? Uh, someone going to jump out of the bush on me or what? Spirit, please clarify. Right? Please clarify the fortune in reverse. Yeah, your higher self is telling you to be patient with yourself and this person. Right? For those of you who haven't met this person yet, be patient with them. They're going to be patient with you. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to run them off. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. Yeah, because some of you, you may, you may uh, be very guarded towards this person. And Spirit wants you to work on being in harmony and balance with yourself. Okay, your masculine and feminine energies. You don't have to be on 10. You're not in fight and flight mode anymore. Spirit, please clarify the hermit. And your higher self is telling you this too. Yeah. Because some of you, you're subconsciously not making plans for the future with someone because... Or not thinking that far ahead because you don't believe that it's gonna it's gonna pan out or it's gonna work out for you or some of you like dead ass believe that love is not in the cards for you or in the stars or it's not gonna happen for you and spirits like if you think that then that's what you're gonna manifest please clarify eight of swords mm -hmm. spirit wants you to work on this Okay. Clarify the magician. Right? And it's just take your time. Okay, go at your own pace. One day at a time, Cancer. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you're going to end up manifesting not being happy, not being satisfied in life. Right? If you do this. Your opportunity is here. And spirit, spirit put this person on your path. Mm -hmm. Because you're ready for this person. You're ready for this kind of love. Right? And I feel like you're faking yourself out, Cancer. Or you may fake yourself out. Because you're so used to dealing with bullshit. Hmm. Spirit, what last messages do you have for Cancer? What last messages do you have for cancer in closing? <laughs> the sun came out again. Cancer, baby. Mm -hmm. Right? Look at this. Indecision. Caring connections in river. Come on, cancer. Don't sabotage yourself. Okay, here comes the sun, do, 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 do. It's your time. You deserve all of this goodness that's surrounding you, that's coming towards you. 
right? It's not too good to be true. It's true and you deserve it, right? Don't get stuck in your head thinking that this person doesn't really care for me. They don't care. Why, why wouldn't they care about you, Cancer? You are deserving of love. What's wrong with you? Nothing. This person thinks you're like pff, precious metals. They want everything with you. Right? Let them have it. Right? You have emotional fulfillment, happiness. Good things coming towards you. Spirit's like, don't. Don't mess this up, Cancer. Don't do it. Because you're not sure if someone really likes you or really cares about you or not. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Hmm. Okay, Cancer. This is what I have for you. If any of this... Oh, Spirit said pull. Okay, 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 okay. Let's do this here. Spirit, can I get one on the sun? Not that dark, they said. Can I get one on the sun, please? Like, this is a brand new beginning, a brand new chapter, right? And, it's, and this is your season, Cancer. You've gone through so much to get here. Look at this. Yeah. You put so much work into your happiness, and now that it's showing up, you don't believe that it's really here, right? And Spirit's like, cut the shit, Cancer. <laughs> Stop that. Please clarify indecision. Please clarify indecision. You don't know which way to go. Yes, look at things from a higher perspective. Look at the bigger picture. You want this, you got it, okay? You want longevity in a relationship. You want security. You want stability. You want love. You want passion. It's here, right? Don't shy away from it now. Spirit, please clarify. Caring connections in reverse. Yes, look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a brand new beginning here, Cancer, and it's just budding, and Spirit wants you to get excited, right? Spirit also wants you to let go of um, emotional baggage, triggers, people that did not treat you good. Some of you are still holding on to false starts that you had with other people. This is not a false start, okay? That is done dead and gone clear it away okay that was then you are focused on now okay all right so spirit wants you to let go of any hurt pain from past relationships and focus on what's coming into your life now okay cancer you so deserve this i am so rooting for you okay i want you to root for yourself this is what i have for you cancer if any of this resonates smash that like button if not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night, and I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.